If you want to know how to analyze usability testing results, then this video is for you. In just a few minutes, you'll learn a step-by-step -step guide to understanding what usability testing results mean for your business. After a usability testing is conducted, the results need to be analyzed to identify any areas of improvement. This can be a daunting task, but fortunately, there is a step-by-step -step process that can be followed to make it easier. The first step is to identify the goals of the usability testing. This will help to focus the analysis and make sure that all the relevant data is considered. Next, you need to collect and organize the data from the test. It is important to have all the data in one place so that it can be easily analyzed. Once you have the data, you are all set to analyze the results. This can be done by looking for trends in the data, identifying areas of improvement, and making recommendations. Finally, it's time for the results of the analysis to be reported. This can be done in a variety of ways, but it is important to make sure that the report is clear and concise for a better understanding. By following this process, you can ensure that all the relevant data is considered and that the results of the usability testing are used to improve the product or service. Looking for a way to improve your user testing? Poll the People offers a free sign-up to test your site or app with real users. Simply create a test, select your target audience, and watch the feedbacks pour in. With Poll the People, you'll be able to analyze the usability testing results more efficiently and effectively. So what are you waiting for? Sign up on Poll the People today.